Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of dividing whole numbers and unit fractions. This is standard 5.3L in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 37 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Amy, she's got 32 feet of chain, and she's going to cut them into pieces, so that's going to give us at least a little bit of a clue we, when we cut into pieces. We're going to divide here, they're each quarter of a foot long. How many of those pieces did Amy have after cutting the chain? Hmm. Well, let's see what we can do to draw a picture here. So we've got a strip diagram least to visualize what we're doing here we get 32 feet and what we're going to do is we're going to break them into chunks and each chunk is going to be one fourth or quarter of a foot and the question is is how many of those can we find in 32 feet well let's see what happens if i draw something that's 32 feet i'm not going to draw 32 separate feet that will take me a little bit too long let me draw an array let me just pretend it's it's a chain that's kind of coiled up into a rectangle how about that if you don't want to sit and watch me really cut that many pieces but i can at least draw an array so here we go you notice i've got i've got 16 pieces here all I need to do is cut each of these columns in half. And there we go. I've got 32 pieces. Just to double check, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 across. 1, 2, 3, 4 down. All right, so let's say this is our chain. Each of these squares represent 1 feet. I've got 32 feet. And it says that each of these pieces were cut into 1 fourth. All right. So what we can do here is, what if we just did that? So there's my one-fourth. So I've got four pieces in that square. And I've got four pieces in that square. And I think you're getting the pattern. I can just cut each of these 32 pieces into four squares. I can what I could do is I can multiply that 32 times 4 and that's going to give me 128. If I were to do this for every single one of these pieces here, I could just kind of do it like this, right? I would get 128. Now here's the question. How do I do this without drawing a picture? How do we visualize dividing by a fraction? Well, let me show you what that would look like. What we did is we did 32 divided by 1 fourth. Now, how did we end up multiplying if it's division? Well, that's the funny thing about dividing by a fourth. When we divide the, by the fourth, it's the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. And a reciprocal, that is a number that when you multiply it by its reciprocal, it turns into 1. So like 4 times 1 fourth, multiply straight across, that becomes 4 over 4, that becomes 1. So the reciprocal of 1 fourth is 4. The reciprocal of 2, right, would be 1 half. You notice how I just kind of take it and I flip it upside down. So that is how we can find the reciprocal. So when you divide by a fraction, you can also multiply by its reciprocal. And it's the same thing, dividing by a fraction, multiplying by its reciprocal. And so 32 times 4, that is something that's easy. That's 128. We can do that all day long. Now, we still need to go ahead and put this into our answer chart. There's no A, B, C, or D for us to kind of at least guess our answer or verify our answer. So we can do all this work, and we can still end up putting it in the wrong spot. So you're going to end up having two points to the right of the decimal, three to the left, and let's do our 128 right here. 